Joining us now from Washington, D.C., Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Leanne, good morning to you. Good morning, Terrell. We just heard in the piece there that the president over the weekend had a conversation with House Speaker John Boehner and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid over the weekend. Do, do we know what was talked about or discussed in that meeting? And, and is this the first of many? This will be uh, the first of many, for sure. We don't know exactly what was spoken about at that meeting, uh, but we, what we do know is that staff of both uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, House Speaker John Boehner, and President Obama uh, spent a good part of last week uh, meeting. Even though lawmakers were out of town, President Obama took some days off for the Thanksgiving holiday. And even though the top uh, decision makers, these principals, are not meeting on a daily basis, their staffs are continuing to work. And uh, the big guns will come in when necessary and they'll continue to talk and they're the ones who are ultimately going to decide what's okay and what's not. We saw this a lot over the, the Sunday political talk shows, this idea of compromise now coming from Republicans and many notable ones going on the airwaves now and saying compromise is key. Is that having any impact on Capitol Hill? What will we see now? Well, the rhetoric has definitely changed since before the elections, that's for sure. And talk of compromise is always a good sign. But uh, as always in Washington, the devil is in the details. And the two sides are still very far apart. The Republicans say that uh, they are open to more revenue uh, to reduce the deficit. And what that means is that um, they're, they're interested and in okay with some additional taxes. But they want to go about it by broadening the base, by limiting deductions, by limiting loopholes, not by raising individual tax rates. And President Obama and many Democrats say that's not acceptable. Uh, come the new year, they want uh, the current tax rates for the middle class to continue. But they want the tax rates for the wealthy to increase by uh, 4% bringing their tax rate to over 39%. And so there's still a lot of room to maneuver and a lot of uh, details to figure out. And Republicans want Democrats to consider some reforms on entitlement programs. When it comes to Social Security, the White House said this, the president is open to discussions about strengthening Social Security as part of a separate track. Gives you the idea that the White House is saying that the president wants to handle this a little bit later on down the line. Is this going to be a sticking point for Republicans? I think that it's going to be another problem in these uh, fiscal cliff talks. Uh, Democrats have indicated that they're open to talking about Medicare. They're open to talking about Medicaid. President Obama has indicated the same thing. And those are two uh, major entitlement reforms. But when it comes to Social Security, uh, 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 White House spokesperson Jay Carney said today that, um, like you mentioned, that it needs to be handled on a different track, that it's not adding to the deficit and it's its own situation and it's still solvent for a couple decades. And uh, But Republicans are saying, look, that's part of the entitlement package. Um, it's a massive part of the federal budget and it's something that needs to be discussed. And so I think that's going to be a, another difficult area of negotiations for both sides. Leanne, how confident are the folks in Washington that something is really Really going to get done here. We have heard this narrative over and over and over again. This cliff looming now five weeks. What's going to happen? Do we have any idea? We have absolutely no idea. They're all saying that they want something to get done. The Republicans are saying, look, the president needs to lead. Uh, the president is saying, look, the Republicans need to be open to some of our ideas. Um, the, the discussion has, has pivoted uh, over the weeks. House Speaker John Boehner, just previous to the elections, he said he doesn't really believe that a lame duck should take something um, so massive and and it should wait till a new Congress. Instead, there should be just something that gets everyone through the new year and then the new Congress can take it up. But now everyone's talking about how they want something done. They want something big. So we'll have to see. There's a lot of pivoting. There's a lot of discussion and we'll only know there's a deal once it's signed. And I'm asking you to, to look into the crystal ball here just a little bit, Leanne, but could we possibly see an 11th hour deal here in the last few seconds that we have? And is that a good thing? 
I think if we do see a last minute deal, I think that it's going to be not a comprehensive reform package, but it's going to be some sort of plan uh, to care to, for how they're going to carry it out in the next Congress. And um, that that's better than nothing. Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com on the show this morning. Leanne, thank you so much. Thank you, Trow.